What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana Garcia and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a client transformation. We went from his hair before he had just faded out red to an all over red and black half and half. So pretty cool transformation. Decided to film it. He said that it was okay if I did. So if you guys are interested I'm going to be showing everything that I did, telling y'all what product I use, all that good stuff. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see my future videos and let's get started. Okay, so here is how he came in. Like I said, he had faded red from the last time that we had colored his hair. Um, so what I do first to start, I gave him a haircut, which I do in number two on the sides, scissor cut on top, and just to make sure that we get all the hair off, it's better to do the haircut first before you do the color. And on the top, I cut up scissors, and I also give him a hard part, which you guys will see at the end of the video. Right here, I'm just checking it also sideways, just because I feel like with straight hair, you can see the lines a lot of the times. So I will just, I'll cut it first, start in the middle, cut all the way back, and then I'll get on the side of him, and I'll just cross check it. I did the haircut first because uh, y'all know um, we're going to color his hair so we want everything that is left on his head to be colored so if we went in and did the bleach first and then gave him a haircut there might be hairs that didn't get the color because his hair um, like the product didn't penetrate all the way to his scalp so that's why I do the haircut first um, so it varies sometimes with hair color we do the haircut first and sometimes we do the color first so um, each client is different but for bleach, what I'm using is my Joyco Blonde Life Powder Lightener, and I'm using that with 20 volume. As you can see right here at the top, I'm not putting the bleach all the way on his tips because that hair has been bleached and has already been colored, and since we're using red and black, um, both of those colors are going to be dark enough that it covers those light um, faded red tips, so I'm not worried about bleaching those tips. In case y'all are wondering why I'm leaving those tips out, but the bottom I'm making sure to cover that really good on the pieces that are a little bit longer. Y'all will see me use my finger, like right here. I'll use my finger to hold up hair, and that way I can put the bleach on the root. With the leftover bleach, I just put it on the bottom, and then to incubate all of his hair, I put a processing cap on top, but on those bottom hairs, so that they can be incubated too, I'll put a foil, and then I cover them up real good with the processing cap, let them process, and rinse them out. So then for the colors, what I did, I used a comb in order to make the line straight, because like I said, he was going to do half black and half red, so the comb obviously just made the line straight for me. And then I just apply the colors. For the colors, I'm using Matrix Red Hot on the red side. And on the black side, I'm using Redken 1 NW, which you guys know one is black, NW is natural warm. He had told me that whenever he combed his hair over to the side, he wanted the half and half to still be noticeable, like he didn't want there to be red hair on the black side. So what I did, I did the tips black. So he combs his hair over to this black side. So once I put all of the black on, I put a foil to make sure that the color didn't bleed over to this hair. And then I put red on the roots, and then when I combed it over to the side, then I put black on everything that was going to be on that side, if that makes sense. So that way whenever he gels his hair over, because he usually when he fixes his hair he will gel it over, then it'll still be that half and half that, like he wants. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna let y'all watch until the end. I'm gonna stop the voiceover here. Of course, if you have any questions, leave me them in the comments and I would love to hear y'all's feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe, like I said before. And um, pretty much all I did for the rest of the video, I let him process, rinsed him out, did his hard part. We also waxed his eyebrows. He said they hurt, so he might not do that again. That was his first time ever to do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, y'all can enjoy the rest of the video without listening to me.